from Ozarks First. You're watching Color 10 News Midday. Happy Wednesday, everyone. We're happy to have you along with us for Color 10 News at Midday. I'm Carissa Codell. We're in for some nice weather here in the Ozarks this week. It started out really cold, and now those temperatures are seeming to uh, get a little bit warmer. Our chief meteorologist, Jamie Warner, in the studio with us. Jamie, what can we expect for the rest of the week? Well, trends have definitely been up over the last few days. I mean, on over the weekend, highs were in the upper 50s. Uh, then on Monday, low 60s. Yesterday, upper 60s. Today, 70s. But this is ahead of a cold front. That cold front now pushing south into the area, generating some rain here along I-44. This is a quick hitting round of rain. It's not going to last long. It won't amount to much. And it looks like temperatures in the wake of that front won't cool off that much. So this front's not going to have a whole lot of impact. 65 right now. Uh, the rest of the overnight hours, uh, once we get the clouds out of here around midnight, look uh, clear, calm, and chilly by morning with temperatures in the upper 40s. Carissa? All right. Thanks so much, Jamie. Making news now, authorities in northern Arkansas have identified a suspect in a shooting that happened over the weekend. Lee Blackman is wanted for allegedly shooting a man at a home in Marion County. The victim was taken to a hospital, then transferred for further treatment. According to the sheriff's office, Blackman may be traveling on a motorcycle or a gold Nissan Rogue with a woman, and he may be armed. Keeping crime in focus, a suspect threw knives at law enforcement and set fire to an RV during a lengthy standoff in Aurora last night. Officers responded to a mobile home park for a domestic situation between a woman and her son. Officers say the man barricaded himself inside an RV armed with multiple knives, throwing them out the window at officers, and then he started a fire inside. The Aurora Special Response Team used CS gas to safely take the suspect into custody. A West Plains man was caught running away from a business that had just been burglarized, and police have linked him to several other crimes in the area. Officers arrested 31-year-old Taylor Wilcox on Tuesday after they say a burglar alarm was activated at a business on Porter Wagoner Boulevard. Wilcox was running from the scene when he was taken into custody, and police say he's been involved in several other burglaries in the West Plains area. Happening now, October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and Springfield Police are putting a focus on how they respond to these situations. Color 10 spoke to one domestic violence survivor who says officers can face dangers when responding to these types of calls. What's one of the most dangerous calls for an officer to respond to? Um, abusers often have no, if they will injure or harm the person that they claim to love, they have no problem with harming somebody that's coming to their aid. Thompson has started a Facebook page where survivors can share their stories and help support others. And today, SPD will be at the Plaster Student Union at MSU for the Stop the Violence campaign. It will focus on what domestic violence looks like and how we can prevent it. This is happening now until 5 p.m. Harmony House in Springfield is one of the many resources for domestic violence survivors, providing shelter and support. Last year, they received 2,800 calls for help and say they are on track to exceed 3,000 calls this year. More local news now. Mexican Villa and Mother's Brewing Company are just a few of the many businesses taking part in by Missouri Week. This initiative was started by Lieutenant Governor Mike Kehoe in 2018, encouraging people to support local businesses and help boost the state's economy. Missouri has the second highest rate of business failures in the U.S., and nearly 30 percent of businesses fail in the first year, according to the data from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. Despite this, Kehoe hopes that this week not only drives Missourians to buy products made in the Show Me State, but hopes the entire country takes notice of this initiative. And here's a look at just a few of those local businesses around the Ozarks that you can support. JB's Gourmet Spice Blends in Christian County, Mama Lane's All Natural, a company in Taney County that sells health and beauty products, and Noggin Bonkin Coffee Roasters in Webster County by Missouri Week wraps up this Saturday, and you can find the complete list of businesses on our website, ozarksfirst.com. 
Tomorrow, you can enjoy a good lunch and help support the Webb City Fire Department. The Badges and Burgers event is taking place from 11 to 1 at the Fire Department. You can get a burger, chips, drink, and dessert for 5 bucks. And they will also make deliveries if you can't make it in person. You can also bid on large raffle items donated by local businesses. Proceeds will benefit the Webb City Fire Department. Straight ahead here at midday, President Biden's message to the people of Israel as the war rages on. Plus, details on the deadly hospital explosion in Gaza and who could be responsible. We've got it all covered for you right after this. Stay with us.